1 a.m. at Eurofruiter, one of the biggest distributors of fruit and vegetables in London. Thank you, boss. No worry. <laughs> Almost all of this produce was grown in Europe. That's it, yeah. Thank you very much, Danny. And almost all of Daniel's employees are from continental Europe. Before the referendum, there was, there was, you know, there was no problem finding people who were willing to work at night. Suddenly, since then, it's become a real nightmare to get, to get people to come to work now. The clock is ticking to get this fresh imported food to the kitchens of London's restaurants, hospitals and schools. Your normal stuff like broccoli, celery, strawberries, which come from Spain at the moment. And for Daniel, who voted to remain, the alarm bells are ringing as time begins to run out on Brexit negotiations. As we're approaching the cliff edge, we don't know exactly what's going to happen next. But not everyone's losing sleep. This is the trade floor, an employer of two and a half thousand people. A third of the UK's fresh fruit and vegetables comes from the European Union. It's a trade that's worth 10 billion euros a year. But the traders here at the new Covent Garden market are philosophical about the prospect of no deal. There is potential for it to be a bit of a nightmare, but we have geared up in every way we can. Gary Marshall is the chairman of this market. He voted to leave in the referendum. It will be the best thing for us if there's a no deal, because we will find a way, as we always have done. Yeah, no Gary believes if and when Brexit happens, he'll be proved right. On, People that voted to, to leave are now being said that they're you know, uneducated and simpletons. Well, I've run my own business for 30 years. I've been successful. I've got a great reputation all throughout, throughout Europe and I'm chairman of the biggest wholesale market in Great Britain. So if I'm a simpleton, you know, what can I say? The fact is the UK could leave the European Union without an agreement in 32 days time. In Britain, people's interpretation of how negatively or positively that will impact trade still differs enormously. Luke Hanrahan, Euronews.